inside of me wants to use, bro, everything. This work, what you do, giving life, and taking nothing. This work, where's on you, makes you feel like you got nothing left for loving. But you're beautiful, oh so beautiful Open your heart to me Take me home, home is in your arms The only place I want to be My cousin and his friends are in town. They're doing like this documentary on me. Just like, it's like a slice of life. Brother. He's my mom's oh, right twin sister's son. Look how much we look alike, watch. <laughs> when we make that face, it's the only time we look alike. And they're all in this amazing film school in Munich. They're all filmmakers. Nice. So they're making a movie about you. I know. Why not? That's a great subject. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. I said all I do is box and watch TV. Right. Hey, you know what? Yeah, we don't have any shots of you watching TV yet. Uh, we should do that today. That's no, but you know what's funny? Important. What you should use throughout the movie is you have a lot of me saying, this is my mother's twin sister's son, Sebi. We're almost brothers. Look, we look alike. I've done that. You should do that throughout the movie. Like 20 <laughs> He hasn't changed at all since the day I met him. Inside, no. He's the, inside, he's the same exact person. He's not as sensitive as he was then. He was really fucking sensitive. If you ask him, he'll tell you that I completely scarred him for life at an early age. It's all a lie. All lies. Why would he say that? Because... He's got, I think like, you know when you have a bad dream and you think it's real and you wake up and you forget that it's a dream? I think he's got some things in his head that he thinks really happened that didn't. Regarding like me and a girl he was in love with or something. All lies. All lies. I think Bob Lazar is one of those cats who can do anything that comes his way, actually. I really do. From acting to music to hip hop to now having a rock band uh, to being a father uh, uh, to assuming the responsibilities of being a Getty. You know what I mean? I think that he's one of those cats that can just do whatever he wants to do.
Bollock's really changed a lot. I mean, he was such an extreme rabble, just the most, you know, rabble rousing, digging around the streets, sneaking around, doing whatever he could to get high, kind of crazy kid. And, um, you know, before too long, he turned into a, you know, a pretty decent gentleman. You know, not long after that, he met Rosetta and, you know, and not good. They're doing really well and they have the kids. And it's quite a transformation. Oh, well, I mean, everybody, it's... I know everybody but you. No, I mean, it's no differently than anybody. I mean, it, you know, it's kind of typical. Made me more responsible, made me a better man, made me more accountable. <laughs> Well, you have to go in detail. <laughs> That's what, what, what's, what makes interviews interesting, the details. Oh, I see. Is that what makes the interviews more interesting? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm a pretty selfish person. Although I'm very, um, I think, very generous. You know, I... You know, I always want to do things my way and when I want to do them and, you know, so in that respect, it's made me have to really put other people ahead of me and say, you know what, it's, you know, although I'd love to just get up, walk out and go fuck around at the movie theater, I have to stay here and, you know, look at, uh, you know, look at this. I don't know, I just think it's, you know. Just to know you're okay. Makes me happy just to say I, I would. I just like to be your savior on the string, hanging on your piece of mine. I look on madness through the eyes of a calm, pouring sadness into my blue arm. Dream of you safely waiting in the bar, counting all your cards as you dance. Couldn't even try to get up too late. Are you ready to roll? Yeah. Is it rolling already? Yeah. You know, heroin kind of gives us a sort of, uh, it's like being in a bath full of mother's milk, warm mother's milk. It's like, you know, the concerns, our concerns take flight and, you know, we're able to kind of mull over in a dreamy way the things that we're interested in and he was just smoking a lot of crack at this point he was just he was dropped like 50 pounds he looked like shit and he was like putting on layers of clothes like a sweater another sweater this and no matter how many layers he put on he still looked like skin and bones and he had really bad fashion at this period too like it's like jamaican like Rasta colors and and he was like in the mirror and he was like doing his thing trying to get ready for the premiere and look nice and I was looking at him like no matter what you do you're gonna walk into the directors guild you're gonna see David Lynch you're gonna see the other actors Bill Pullman and you look like a fucking crackhead and a junkie like it was really sad that like this was the pinnacle of his career at this point 
It was artistically and commercially, on every level, it was the most exposure and the best work he had probably done. And he wasn't even in a state to be at the screening. And it was really, really, really fucking sad because that was when everything went down from there.